83 degree day and what a beautiful Friday it is here at the players gorgeous scene it all builds towards that unbelievable finish of 16 17 the island green and then 18 and the number today is 147 yards there's that back hole location Ooh, nice shot there great distance control gonna have a beautiful look for two He's been zigzagging his way around this par four, but this is the strength of his game. He's an outstanding putter. Well, for mid range or long distance, he's going to need it. <laughs> oh, there you go. He got it. There's Steve. some evidence on, on cue. On cue. He should get into TV. Short par four, McNeely for birdie. One of the best putters on tour showing why right there. And Fitzpatrick gets that one to go. Takes advantage of the par five and moves to nine under par. Putting clinic today so far. He's first in strokes game putting. He's putted 103 feet of putts made. Come, come back to the right. Even when they miss. This two is going to carry a little deep. Will it spin back for him? It does just a touch. What a drive right in the middle of the fairway so he can fly this all the way to the flag stick. Kind of like that. <laughs> well, <laughs> what the doctor ordered. Not the normal verb that he normally has. Scotty Schumper, the defending champion. Little downhill. And Clark moves to 14 under par. An amazing performance today. Backing up that 65 with another one. And his lead is five. And looking for another one over here at the par five second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Two for two is Jason Day. Here comes the second shot at the fifth for Taylor Montgomery. Drove it all the way down into the low point, just left of the fairway, so only 161 left. Ooh, look at that bounce. Boy, that is a gratuitous bounce there. Oh, oh, oh. Rolling uh, almost inside Gimme, Steve. And if he wants to get close to this flagstick, he's going to take on those mounds just in front right of the green. Hard to do out of that lie. Oh, man. Oh, that's excellent. Not many players could hit that shot from there. Look how wide that stance is. Flexing the knees. Good as that. As we look at Cameron Young for birdie at 18, a rare one at the last. Up at 15, that's Ryan Moore. Steve, we see another shot coming from these collection areas. Off tight lies. And Moore jars it from off the green. Beautiful tee shot here, 167. Whole cut on the right part of the screen, trying to peel something back over there. Very nicely done. Great distance control. I went on the PGA Tour champions and now McElroy for the first cut. Wants to find that slope as well and does a masterful job. Well, this target was probably right where Speed's ball was and just turn it a tiny bit to get it down there. A record 13 yesterday. Today they're filling it up as well. This is Matty Schmidt, the young German who made an eagle from the left side over there. Ooh, ooh, danced around the cup. That looks like it'll be the 13th birdie of the day compared to four balls in the water. <laughs> Let's go back to Dan at six. Sam Burns from less than 100. <laughs> birdie hole especially uh, you find the fairway yeah, he's looking like he's going to use that slope right there to plateau green there right and left Ooh, could that go in that uh, came close had the course record on the players championship record last year the third round 62 oh, such a good iron player for eagle added to the list for hoagie who busts up to six under Last couple of seasons to five. Speaking of guys who have won, Nick Taylor at the fifth. He puts himself on that first page of the leaderboard, tied with McElroy Harmon. All around best dudes, and uh, 
one of my favorites to just hang out with and watch him strike it like this still at 57 years old, which is incredible. Right at it, shocking. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Hang, hang in there. there. Hang yeah. in there. It's firming up back there, boys. It is. Monster drive. This is Shoffley. He's in a bit of a predicament here. Long bunker shot. Looks like he had didn't have any tree problems. Didn't oh, have wow. any problems at all. This uh, bogey-free round is going to stay intact, you would think. Oh, well done, Shoffley. He's contended in majors. He's been chasing those. <laughs> oh, don't start that up. <laughs> Good chicken over at night with Patrick Cantley, guys. Wow, oh, talking yeah. about thick rough, and what a shot that well, was. What a difference, though. He was on a severe upslope, so able to slide the club under the ball and loft it. <laughs> didn't, didn't hear a yes there. Taylor at the ninth. It's just earlier. Asking for it to be far enough. Hey, here we go. That'll right. use the backstop yep. behind the hole. That's exactly what Jason Day was trying to do and didn't carry it far enough. Uh, the most difficult hole today, 14, just tough with that back left hole location. But you knew there was a reason we were showing it. Second, and this is a tough bunker shot. We saw Wyndham Clark execute this yesterday to just about perfection. It's not easy. He somehow got that long bunker shot to release a little bit, which is always the challenge there. Good looking yeah. putt. Beautiful. Struck against a five under. It's in 19th. Should break a little bit from the left. Sneaks it in the right side. Moves to six under. Himself in position for a nice weekend. From 160. Way down on the left side with that tee shot. Oh man, oh, oh, oh. let's get back in. I think that pitch buck went all the way around the hole. Well, Dan, we're gonna go hole back here of the 16th. Brian, and what was this putt today here for Eagle? Oh man, uh, up the hill, I had to wait for Ricky to make his birdie over there on uh, 17, but I uh, just a shot in the dark there. I mean, the, the greens, it's, it's, it's uphill, and then it's, it's straight away from you there. Up, so we'll go to 13 first for Shoffley. And the toughest part three so far today. Shoffley back there. Eight iron in hand, middle right hole location. Oh, very nice. What a comeback. You talk about a bounce back. Great iron game. Good, Dan, the shot like this for a guy like Kogi, you're thinking this could be a, a hole out. Yeah, he's looking at his chops. Yeah, look at this. Top 10 in strokes gained approach each of the last three seasons on the PGA Tour. You know, that's child's play right there. Well, he's got to feel like he's on a completely different golf course than the rest of the world. Nobody's over there on that side. It's so quiet and secluded. Three birdies in a row. Steve Stricker fighting to make the cut. You know what? I had breakfast with him this morning, and he said it. <laughs> what a shot. He felt it felt really weird. Definitely trying to hit a cut shot with that finish. Just a little left of the hole. But too deep. It should be good. Yeah, just past hole high. Go back to 11 behind those big name groups. Nick Taylor continuing his good day for oh, birdie. Yeah. Beautiful up the slope. That gets him tied for second. <laughs> Perfectly done. Burns for the bunker at 14. Well, that's what we saw. I think Troy Merritt. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's not that hard. 
So that's one way to make birdie at 14, just the third all day. Four. Russell Henley over here on the front side, 137. He needs to turn it on. Unlikely, but this is a good place to start. Yep, kiss his favorite putter here. I've just seen so many shots that have looked like that today. Tap and birdie will be for Hanley. He'll chip away at the easy sixth. It's a long birdie putt for Hoagie, so. Yeah, this isn't where you want to be, Dan. Right there, it starts to really go downhill. That's got a lot of speed. It's uh, yeah. carrying right at the bottom of the hole. A lot of speed into the darkness, Bax. Oh, man, Hoagie. Believe that four now in a row. What is it like coming here? in that final group there's a lot more intensity on this hole on Sunday than there is on Friday but um, it's, it's such a cool finish oh what a putt oh he about jumped in the water oh look at him <laughs> he was riding it like happy Gilmore riding his horse around the 17. that's exactly the way you're supposed to do it if you're going to make a long putt on the island green I love to see him in Lou we got to take another look at this, kids. Is this the definition of letting him cook? It is indeed. Let that young man cook. <laughs> I thought he's going in right here. He doesn't even know. Oh, okay. He didn't put the club underneath like I thought he did. But it was definitely the motion like that's what he was trying to do. I expect this to go in. This has been a nice comeback since that double bogey at the previous par five. The birdie at 12. Birdie on his very first hole of the week at Bay Hill, so nothing new for him. This was just earlier. Victor Hovland coming in with his third at 16. So a tap in birdie for Hovland. At 14, hit a good drive, 310 yards, second shot. Yeah, just 136 yards, some sort of wedge downwind. There you go. Wow. There's a bounce back opportunity. Great shot. Absolutely. This looks pretty good to me. Right where you want to leave it. Eight feet short of the hole. On this finishing night for him today. Yeah, beautifully done. And we talked about how good he is with the irons. And when you drive the ball in play, six. Horschel grinding it home on the front side for Birdie. To get on that cut line. Danny. Yeah. To one under. Not one of the longer hitters, so pitching wedge, probably the right club for him. Beautiful shot. Go. 